Do you think we would we need more hearings uh, with us having the gavel? And I say us, the Republican Party having the gavel. Yeah, I mean, definitely. Uh, we're going to focus on doing our job. Now, we're going to get into things like, uh, you know, what's really on Hunter Biden's uh, laptop and what did he really do? Uh, you know, yeah. how much money did he take from foreign countries? We're going to focus on things like that because we deserve the answers. We're going to focus on the failures at the border to respond. I mean, look at what they're doing with these poor border guards. Uh, they couldn't find them guilty of doing what uh, the president accused them of. So then they trump up and say, well, they said something, so we're going to suspend them anyway. I mean, it's killing our morale on the border. So we're going to focus on things like that. Also, energy independence, you know. Uh, we've got all these excuses. President Biden says we can drill. They can't drill. Uh, all the permits are either places where there's not oil or they won't allow them to do that. We went from an energy producing nation where we were exporting energy to now we're importing. He's begging from Saudi Arabia or Iran or, or wherever to try to get oil. Yeah. And so we're going to look into this administration and see what all the things, but we're going to also focus on doing our business. Well, even even if the House and the Senate go over to the Republicans, you still have a president in there who's going to be a Democrat, one way or the other, even if he retires and Kamala Harris is in there. So you got two years of stopping the agenda, but that's important, one way or the other. It, it is, and, and we've got to focus on that. And some of the things we've got to also look at oversight is to make sure that our, uh, you know, I'm also on the Intelligence Committee, and one of the things we're really focusing on is making sure that we're not turned inward, that we're looking outward at threats, not trying to... Uh, create monsters in America that aren't here. You know, if you're a Republican, you're not a violent extremist. Uh, but that's the, the, the message that we've heard from the Democrats that we're hearing in these uh, January 6th hearings right now is if you're a Republican, you're a violent extremist. If you're a Democrat, you burn down cities. It's okay. That's, that's just a party of love. It is, it is remarkable that in the, in the same 24-hour cycle where we get couple of members from the uh, administration say, look, we're, we want to give you a new warning about China. China is really involved in this and that. And then at the same day, we have uh, the story of uh, more revelations from uh, the laptop. Even one of the pictures, of the, well, it's not a picture, video of the guy weigh, weighing, and we're talking about Hunter Biden, actually weighing uh, crack cocaine. And, and this guy's sitting on the front seat for the presentation of the Freedom of Metals honor uh, how do you do that how in the world would you even let your son sit there i mean this guy the, the should be in prison to be honest with you but your yeah thought. he is and hopefully we'll get to dig into some of that stuff but you know the important thing right now is we've also got to focus on china and russia you know yeah. russia's aggression in ukraine uh it threatens the world and world stability and uh, it gets more and more dangerous every day and then china is the is the real threat that we face both economically and militarily in every other way and so we've really got to focus on china and and protecting our supply lines which this administration has done a poor job of doing we're still as vulnerable as we were four, five, or ten years ago, are we not? We haven't moved away from that vulnerability, whether it's precious metals or uh, I was I had something on the air yesterday talking about all the graphite that actually comes out of China um, to make these EVs, and, and the more EVs that we are pressured to buy, the more important China becomes. Absolutely. And, uh, you know, this energy still got to be created some way. And, uh, yeah. and listen, we're just not there yet with solar and wind and all those things. They're great. But we don't know yeah. how to store that energy and to ship it to other places. And so we don't want a nation where we're blacked out 40 percent of the day that we don't have electricity. Uh, it's hot in Mississippi in the summertime, and we sure don't need no air <laughs> conditioning during the middle of the day. Have you watched any of the hearings, the January 6th hearings? Very little. I try not to. It, uh, it infuriates me to watch. Uh, it's a joke. It's a stage show. Uh, it's, it's almost like a TV trial show. Uh, you know, they're showing one side of the evidence there. Uh, they're hiding exculpatory evidence. Uh, they're staged videos and all this and keyed. Uh, anybody who puts that yep. much uh, effort into something, this is just a witch hunt. They're just trying to make sure that President Trump doesn't run again in 2024, and uh, th this whole January 6th thing is a sham as far as I'm concerned. We've already had the I investigation. Wonder, yeah, yeah. It was bad that day, but, but we've already no. had the investigation. That's not what this is about. you got to wonder if he decided tomorrow or even today said, look, I'm not going to run, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to back somebody. What would happen? I mean, number one, if they've already – if he decided not to run – 
uh, they're lost. There's not too much else for them to do. I mean, it, that's, that's their one shot on it. Look, it's always a pleasure talking to you, sir. I thank you so very, very much. Next time you're in town, stop by. I look forward to seeing you. Yes, sir. You have a great day. Thank you, man. That is the one and only Trent Kelly, Congressman, 1st District. We've got more coming up.